Hi everybody, Troy here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel as the case may be. I want to show off a couple of recent arrivals from the Folio Society. I would anticipate that these are my last Folio Society books of 2024. Uh, and they're plenty. <laughs> the first one I showed off the other day just briefly, I'm not, well, I, want, I said I was going to talk about it a little bit more. And that is this uh, very gorgeous uh, edition. This is the slipcase for the Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that right. I know Dante's right. This is just a really beautiful book. It's hard to get the glare off the spine. This is the, uh, it almost looks like a Bible, which is appropriate, I guess. It's bound in, um, bound in blocked paper, which when I first read that, I was a little hesitant. But then I saw a couple of reviews of it on YouTube, and I thought, oh, yeah, that, that looks like something I need. Um, gorgeous end papers. Beautiful paper, I should say. Folio Society did a spectacular job. Paper's nice and thick and heavy and will hold up to readings. Translated by Robin Kirkpatrick. Uh, illustrations by Neil Packer. There's an essay in here by uh, Jhumpa Lahiri. This uh, this book, my my uh, my previous experience with uh, the Divine Comedy has been through primarily through the N Alan Mandelbaum translation, and I've only read Inferno. This this version contains all three books: Inferno, um, Purgatorio, and <laughs> Wow! I should know that man. Let's find out. Uh, what's the third book in here? It's not going to tell me. Well, we'll get to it. Okay, sorry. So anyway, each, uh, each book opens with a spectacular uh, illustration, uh, full color, like that. And uh, then there, at, at the top of each canto, each canto gets its own um, beautiful little illustration. And there's an an illustration here of the levels of hell, basically. Um, this translation, I really love the, I love Alan Mandelbaum as a poet and a translator, but he goes for the more poetic. This translation seems much more straightforward and easy to read. This is how Canto 1 goes or opens. At one point midway on our path in life, I came around and found myself now searching through a dark wood, the right way blurred and lost. How hard it is to say what that wood was, a wilderness, savage, brute, harsh, and wild, only to think of it renews my fear. So bitter, that thought, that death is hardly more so. But since my theme will be the good I found there, I mean to speak of other things I saw. Great opening. I realize that the books get progressively more complex. Uh, so we'll see how I do. Uh, Purgatoria, uh, Purgatorio has this. And of course, you see the color scheme changes. Uh, the pieces that start each canto uh, become gray, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, th again, these are at the top of each each one. And then we get to the final book. Let's find out what it is. Oh, Paradiso, of course. So we reach Paradise finally, and the color scheme changes again to a gorgeous blue. Here we are again. And again, these front illustrations here, and then each canto. So just a really remarkable, gorgeous book. And it feels like it's a, it's a decent reading size, although it's heavy. Feels like it's going to hold up well, um, and even the uh, paper binding feels pretty sturdy. So that's the Divine Comedy. That was my first big year-end purchase, I guess. The even bigger one, uh, the big heavy hitter, has a long history for me. Not a long history, a year, I guess. Last year, last fall. Folio Society 
published a super expensive, super fancy deluxe edition of the complete uh, plays of William Shakespeare. I hesitated quite a bit because the price tag was steep. I think it was 1500 bucks. I finally pulled the trigger and waited patiently for the books to arrive. And when they did, there was a problem with them. There was a bubble along the edge of the spine on a couple of the couple of the books, especially the um, the tragedies, which is the middle section. It's a bigger book. Now I knew Folio would make it right, so I got a hold of them, and they said, "Yep, absolutely. Uh, we'll send you another um, set." Since this was a limited edition, they had to, I think, create a new set. Um, they had to match the numbers. Those arrived with the exact same problem. They had not fixed that problem with the binding at all. And I was disappointed, to say the least. But I thought, well, okay, this this version is not to be for me. So I, I shipped both of them back. Folio was very happy to refund my money. They're very good about that. They have great customer service. So then this fall, they announced the cheap version, cheap version of the set. Not quite as fancy. Same size. They're big books. They're oversized books. I'm going to show them in a second here. But, I, well, I'm going to roll the dice and try uh, one more time with the cheap version because as with several of their other fancy, fancy editions like Gormenghast, the cheap version is actually, I like the cheap version much better. So I thought, fingers crossed. Well, they arrived the other day. And as I wrote to a friend, they're acceptable. <laughs> now, I, I'm going to say that I've kind of had a crabby week. I think many people in the, in the country have had kind of a crabby week. So I realized I better just put these on the shelf for a little bit come talk about them after and after i've you know looked at them a little bit i like them I'm, I'm very happy i bought this set it's not without its problems and it's not my favorite folio set ever but let me show it off a little bit oh my God, sorry this is going to be a terrible video because of this this massive this is the massive slip case this slip case is very gorgeous these are these are just outrageously heavy books um, and very oversized, which I think is part of the problem here. Let me get them. Let me get these out of the case so we can actually maybe talk about them. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so they're divided into the histories, the comedies, and the tragedies. And I think it's the histories has the romances in it as well. Again, you're going to get all this glare on the spine. They've got these beautiful. Uh, illustrations on the website these look like they're paper bound and I was really dubious because they said they're cloth bound turns out they are they're they're bound in a silk fabric or a silk like fabric which I think might be one of my issues the color for me I feel like this color is always gonna look dirty no matter no matter what you do not so bad on the shelf, but when you're looking at them up close, they always look like they look dirty to me. Just beautiful red, bright red end papers, printed in uh, multiple colors. Gorgeous illustrations. You really can't, um, you cannot fault the inside of these books at all. The paper is spectacular, heavyweight. Gorgeously laid out, beautiful illustrations. Each play gets its own gorgeous illustration. Um, they're printed. These, this is the Arden Shakespeare uh, volume. The third edition of the Arden Shakespeare are the uh, versions that they use, and they they're just gorgeously laid out and printed. Like I said, the paper is terrific. Um, I, I cannot fault the insides of these books at all. I just have a little bit of 
concern about the, oh my God, the spines and binding. You can't really see it on camera, I know that. But even these spines in the unfancy editions have some, have some waver to them a little bit. But I think part of that is the fact that the cloth is the silky type of cloth kind of shows off some irregularities in the glue underneath. Um, this massive one is the tragedies. Of course, he wrote many tragedies. <laughs> they're, they're really gorgeous books. I have no reason to complain. I was in a super bad mood when they arrived. Um, these, these are fantastic. This is a fantastic collection to have on my shelf. And you know what? I don't believe that any books should just sit on a shelf and not be read. So I'm going to read these books, all 38 plays. I'm finally going to get through that Shakespeare rereading project at some point, and maybe it will be in these. Although I think I'm going to keep my um, Folger editions handy because they have some such great notes in them. Um, the comedies, again, same thing. They all have their beautiful spine design, beautiful whatever. So they're really nice books. I think this cheap version <laughs> was $280, which you know what, these are, it's definitely worth that. If you are looking for a really gorgeous keepsake edition of Shakespeare, also highly readable, this would be a good edition to spend that money on. Uh, the illustrations are by Neil Packer. There's an introduction by Gregory Doran. And there's a foreword by Dame Judi Dench. Uh, it's very short, but uh, it's very lovely about her life with the bard. So those are my, <laughs> my arms got to work up. Those are my latest editions from Folio Society. Like I said, I don't believe there will be any more this year. There is one more fancy book coming in that I'm aware of before, before the end of the year, but it's not Folio. Then the only thing else that I'm aware of is there's two Suntup books on order for far late into 20. They're both late, late 2025. So we'll see what happens. And we'll see what happens with my general um, fancy book over purchasing. <laughs> I noticed this year that I kind of hemorrhaged money throughout the entire year. So I'm going to try to do better in 2025. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you enjoyed seeing those. I, I highly recommend both of them, even though the, the Shakespeare gave me some pause at first. I have no pause about the Dante. Order that. That's a gorgeous edition. I will talk to you again soon. Hope you're doing well. Take care.